The simplest type of open array mod inherits an already existing mod. Mods can be altered by overlaying custom rule overrides to change or add new units, weapons, or behavior. This is very similar to custom map overrides, but applies automatically to all maps and allows for more parts of the game to be changed. We strongly recommend that all projects that want to customize the default Red Alert, Tiberian Dawn, Dune 2000, or Tiberian Sun mods follow this approach rather than creating a standalone mod. This minimizes the amount of work that you'll need to do when updating your mod to a new engine release, as you will only need to update your custom overrides. The following steps outline how to create a mod based on Red Alert, with files for overriding the mod rules and weapons. This is illustrated with an example RATC mod that makes Tesla coils fire lasers. We will use a mod directory named World of Your Name, therefore World of Zol. We set up the SDK in the prior episode. Create a new directory, mod slash world of Zol, for your new mod files. Delete the mod slash example and open ra.mods.example directories. Delete example mod.sln. Copy mod.yaml and icon.png from engine slash mod slash ra to world of Zol. Open mods slash world of Zol slash mod.yaml with a text editor and make the following changes. In the metadata section, change title to world of Zol. In the packages section, add a line dollar sign world of Zol colon space world of Zol. This tells the game that any file past prefixed with world of Zol vertical bar refer to files in your mod directory. See the Mod Manifest Wiki page for more details. In the Mod Content section, update the mod title to find an install prompt message. Open mod.config with a text editor and make the following changes. In the Core Configuration section, Change the mod underscore ID value to World of Zol. In the packaging section, change the packaging underscore copy underscore engine underscore files value to period slash mods slash mod content space dot slash mods slash RA. This tells the SDK packaging script to copy the content installer and Red Alert mod files when packaging your mod for release. Alternatively, you can use a copy of Cameo Mod to build inside of. Make sure your editor is configured to use tab indentation. In the rules section, add a line world of Zol vertical bar rules.yaml at the bottom of the list. This tells the game what file to load your custom rule overrides from. In the weapons section, add a line, world of Zol, vertical bar, weapons.yaml at the bottom of the list. This tells the game what file to load your custom weapon overrides from. Create a new text file, weapons.yaml. and paste in the following YAML definition.
Next, create a new text file, rules.yaml, and paste in the following YAML definition. This will override the Tesla coil weapon. Run the make script to rebuild the mod. Try the changes in game by running the launch game script. The Tesla coil should now fire lasers. Open mod slash world of Zal slash mod.yaml with a text editor and make the following changes. In the sequences section, add a line world of Zal vertical bar sequences slash vehicles.yaml. Then create a folder called Sequences and a file called Vehicles.yaml. Our second project will be to create an overlay mod that will change the Soviet heavy tank to have the turret of a light tank. We will first need to acquire the source code for the heavy tank. You can find this in engine slash mods slash ra slash sequences slash vehicles.yaml. Copy lines 100 through 121 into our newly created vehicles.yaml. We will simply need to add one TNK after each turret definition. Our overlay mod is now complete, and the heavy tank will use a light tank's turret. <music> Lastly, we will show you how to clone a complete unit. Please use our code snippets, not the snippets from the wiki. First, Create a reference in mod.yaml for ships.yaml. We will create a missile submarine for the Allies based on a real-life Ohio-class ballistic submarine. First of all, let's take a look at the code and parts. Let's open the engine slash mod slash ra slash rules slash ships.yaml file now and search for msub using control F. Copy the first part of the code text, lines 68 through 95. Create a new document, ships.yaml, and paste in the copied code. Now to edit the code. msub is the code name for the unit. Our changes follow. What are we changing? We are changing the code name for the unit to Ohio Sub. Changing build at production type from submarine to boat. Removing prerequisites submarine pen Soviet tech tech level dot high and adding shipyard and tech level dot unrestricted. Reducing cost from 2000 to 200 Changing tooltip name to Ohio Class Ballistic Sub.
Changing health from 40,000 to 2,000. Changing armor type light to wood. And also changing speed from 42 to 70. We also need to add render sprites image because our Ohio sub has no sequences. So we're using the sequences of M sub instead. Next up, copy this part of M sub, lines 96 through 124. and paste it into our new code. This section of code does a few things. Targetable defines what this actor is targeted as. Targetable at underwater allows this actor to be targeted underwater. Cloak cloaks the unit when underwater. Grant condition on damage state at uncloak uncloaks the submarine when critically damaged. Armament at primary defines the main weapon for this actor. Armament at secondary adds an additional weapon to this actor. Attack frontal target frozen actors. will make this actor auto fire at the last position a unit was seen if it moves into the fog of war. Force fire ignores actors will make the actor continue to shoot at a unit even if they move away. We're going to add the last part of our M sub. Again, Copy the code and paste it below the code we just added, lines 125 through 137. This section adds a few more things. Auto target defines the default auto target mode for this actor. Detect cloaked allows this actor to detect cloaked units. Render detection circle enables the rendering of the detection range. Explodes defines which explosion to use when this actor dies. Minus must be destroyed. A minus symbol in front of a trait negates a trait from an actor. In this case, this means that this unit does not need to be destroyed for your opponent to win. Selectable defines the selection box for this actor. That's it for our code. The result should look like this. Our completed code will work and add a ballistic submarine for the allied factions. Now there are a lot of traits the sub does not use and cannot use, but there are some we can use. For example, we can add JAMS missiles to our code. The unit will be able to deflect missiles in the range of 20 cells. Render range circle. This will add a range circle around your unit so you know exactly how far your unit can fire. Traits from similar units can be copied and added to your unit. If you want a unit that acts in a specific way, try to think of a unit that already exists and mimic that. It's always easier to copy something that already works than to make something from scratch. Construct a shipyard so we can build a sub. Our new description will be displayed along with the Soviet sub icon. The allied faction no longer has to worry about being unmatched with missile subs. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing what you can bring to OpenRA. Consider joining the Patron Parade. Next episode, we will cover an extensive amount of key terms and concepts.